Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about the difference between Aura and LWC. So what is mean by Aura component and what is the use of Aura or LWC? Basically, Aura and LWC both are used to build custom user interfaces in Salesforce. I hope you might be aware of custom user interface. Let me quickly switch to my org. For example, this is my developer org. In this developer org, you are able to see in the home page couple of user interfaces. This is generally called as the components, right? So if you look at this, at the top, you have a component that is built using Salesforce flows. And this is a component that is built using Salesforce Aura. And this is a component that is built using LWC. So basically the purpose of uh, you know Aura and LWC is to build user rich user interfaces, right? Which may be required because sometimes there may not be the out of the box, uh, you know, user interface exists. If that is the case, we need to customize the user interfaces and uh, showcase the data to an end user, right? In that aspect, these Aura and LWC generally helps us to build user interfaces, right? Or it is used to build components in Salesforce. What is mean by Aura? Both are, you know, generally, uh, you know, using code only we can build. If you are discussing about Salesforce flow, then flows can be used to build declarative components, right? Without writing a piece of code. But there are limitations. To overcome that, we will be using Aura or LWC. What is an Aura component? Aura component is basically, it is developed using a framework. We have a framework called Aura. On top of the framework, we will be building the Aura component. So if you want to build a component using Aura, then you need to learn the framework, right? With the frame, help of framework only, you can build the Aura component. So it is helps to build the component for a single page application. For example, we have seen the home page, right? Home page is a single page application. It consists of components built using different technologies. One is using Salesforce flow. One component is built using LWC, another component built using Aura, right? So that is generally called as a single page applications, you know, that consist of different components, okay? That can, they can communicate, right? Okay. Both HTML and JavaScripts are used to create lightning components that are Aura based. So inside the Aura component, we will be writing JavaScript code as well as the HTML, right? As well as we will be using the Aura component of framework syntaxes also. So that's how an Aura component will be generally built. Let's move on to LWC. What is LWC? So LWC that is stands for lightning web components as everyone aware of that used to build similarly the custom user interfaces that is targeting the web applications or mobile applications or <clears throat> experience cloud. The only difference between Aura and LWC at the high level is Aura is using a framework and LWC will be using web standard that is pure HTML elements, native HTML elements as well as LWC specific HTML elements you know we can use. Moreover, LWC is a open source framework that is not only built only for Salesforce. You can build a web, web applications or a website also using LWC that is out of Salesforce. That is also possible. Okay, so that is the power of uh, LWC. Major key differences we are going to compare, you know, using this. So the major uh, key differences are, so basically, if you look at this, uh, yeah. The major key difference are, you know, Aura components, right? So the Aura components generally helps you, you know, to understand, uh, you know, to identify or to uh, uh, identify the user requirement. And then we will be building some custom components, you know, with the help of, uh, uh, you know, uh, this Aura uh, component, right? Similarly, LWC also used to do build, uh, you know, custom components. So I need to change the headings. We'll be changing that, uh, you know, heading. You ignore this heading, actually. So the major differences, the major differences are uh, it is using a framework and LWC is based on a web stack. So that's what the difference between 
uh, basically our component as well as an lwc you know the way it is being designed is concerned the way it is being designed is concerned it is using a framework it does not use as any framework it is using a web stack a web standard to build the lwc component that is an advantage what we have in lwc and if you are building an lwc aura component the aura component cannot be used the aura component cannot be used in lwc if you are building a component in aura you wanted to use it in lwc that is not possible but if you look at an lwc component an lwc component can be included in aura that is also one of the difference right okay so if you are going to build something in aura then definitely it will uh, going to take more time to build and deliver right since since the aura framework involved there it might be a little bit complex to build so if you look at lwc the improved performance is there with the lwc because of the web stack and it is much faster to develop as well as uh, deploy when you are opting for lwc and uh, our component is used only inside the salesforce platform that is why it is mentioned as platform dependent right that's what i told lwc it is not only for salesforce you can use lwc to build a component for a web application also that's why it is not a platform dependent it is natively supported in the browser right any lwc component can directly run in lwc directly mean that you need a salesforce in the backend to process the component okay you can natively you know it will run because at the end of the day it is going to generate html tags right basically so you can build or design uh, you know in developer console inside salesforce org if you are going to build an lwc component then the lwc uh, component uh, you know uh, no need to uh, use your salesforce you can simply use an ide called a vs code using vs code maybe we can build a component locally and then later we can deploy it into the org but if you want to build a uh, you know our component you will be opening the developer console inside the salesforce and there only you know you will be building the component generally so how to communicate between the components so basically application events uh, you know in aura there is a event called application events in aura that is used to communicate between two independent components inside the dom dom means you know document object model right whenever your component is rendered in the uh, you know in the browser it will be added to the component all the components will be forming a tree structure there that is called a dom right so application events are generally used to communicate between two independent components there is no relationship between two components they want to talk to each other so application events are generally used in aura but if you look at you know lwc in lwc we will be using there is a service called lightning messaging service we will be using to communicate between two components and then the javascript versions is supported there is a, a, a huge change in the way we are building things in javascript after the introduction of ecmascript right so the ecmascript 5 syntax as well as in the ecmascript only ecmascript 6 only the promises are supported okay not uh, you know we don't have all the support uh, you know for 7 8 in our but as far as uh, you know lwc is concerned it is a web stack it is supporting ecmascript uh, uh, you know 6 7 8 all the support is there so we have more features basically you know when you uh, discussing about our and lwc you can find it in lwc right okay so our and lwc let's look at a code comparison take a simple scenario we need to uh, build an uh, component to display all account records this can be built using uh, you know uh, our component or this can be built using lwc also let me quickly uh, jump to my arc i'm not going to build it right away i will show you already build the component if you look at my arc in my arc i have already developed a component right using aura i'm going to show that so this is the aura bundle so generally this is called aura bundle if you look at the aura bundle there are since it is a framework there are n number of components there right component controller that is a javascript helper is also a javascript styling documentation uh, rendering the things design svg so many components are there right so many individual components putting together you know uh, creating a, a simple aura component if you look at the code this is the aura framework based syntax will be used right so this is the 
a framework based code which is used to build the user interface let's say in the user interface i wanted to show all the account name to show all the account name this is the code i am writing my component should call a controller there is an apex function apex will give me a list of records these list of records i will be iterating and it will be displaying as a uh, you know in the user interface so this is the front end code right which is responsible for uh, creating the html uh, elements in the browser right so behind this component code behind this component code you will be having a controller a javascript so when you load the component automatically this javascript will call and it will make a call to a apex class okay so this apex class is we have an apex class in the backend that is generally called as a controller class you can see this controller class we have an apex class this class has a you know get account data method so this will pull all the account records and return it as a list so this javascript going to fetch everything in a, a list and then we are calling a you know callback function after the all the records gets loaded and we are setting that data back to our component and the component is rendered in the user screen so in the in these these many you know individual pieces of the aura we have so far used the component controller you know to build the component as an outcome of this component you are able to see this component you know in the user interface so basically let me quickly switch to my arg and i will show you the component which is built using aura so if you go to my you know uh, my arg in the arg in the left hand side this is the component which is built using an aura the outcome of this code you were able to see here right so these all are the code uh, you know responsible for building the aura now we are going to compare and lwc component the same outcome or the same output which is generated using an account controller account lwc account controller and apex class and an lwc component i'm going to show the code so i'm using a browser plugin and i'm showing the code in the browser plugin so this lwc component consists of only three files html file one javascript and meta file what is a html file html file from the name itself you are pretty much aware right it will used to help to render the component see the number of records is very minimal number of lines is very minimal it is actually looping through a, a list of account record and it is displaying the name if you look at the javascript only two lines of code is there when comparing with uh, you know our uh, let me quickly you know switch to my arg and show you the number of code what we have written see the template itself this many code when you come to controller you need to write this many lines right but the same outcome is generated with the help of only you know core uh, lines are 7 and 8 right 7 and 8 and 2 that's it i am importing the apex class and calling the apex class uh, loading all the data into your list and that list is rendered in the ui so this looks pretty simple right it will take less time to build a component like this and it is also going to run very faster if that is the case obviously we will be building the components using uh you know lwc when comparing with aura right okay so why lwc is on priority as i said earlier it is take very less number of time to build and deploy right so it is performing uh, better as far as the speed is concerned loading in the user interface in the browser it will be loading really very fast and the major advantage is no need to learn any other framework i don't need to you know uh, mug up anything related to any framework related syntaxes right it is basically based on the web stack so if someone who is good at html and uh, javascript they can easily you know build the lwc component so that's why you know it is uh, loading very faster in the user interface in the basically in the uh, web right so in the browsers so that's why obviously lwc is on priority these days right if that is the case the next question no need of aura so however since uh, lwc does not support everything what aura supports sometimes we may need to build something you know in aura also for example if you are uh, building an lwc component that doesn't support uh, you know some of the key features which is supported by aura what you have to do here is you need to wrap the lwc inside aura and you will be loading the aura in the user interface uh, that is possible so 
this is uh, what the comparison between uh, LWC and Aura, Aura. These days we are building all the components, especially in LWC because of the web stack and web standard and the lightning fast of this uh, component loading in the browser. No need to learn any framework. We are obviously opting for LWC component these days. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit AJ Skill Development website. There you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offering. We are offering Salesforce Administrator and Salesforce Development courses. To know about us and the team, you can visit our About Us section. This is an organization we are doing at Salesforce training from 2018, and we have trained and guided 2,000 plus candidates so far. And if you also want to know about our placement assistance, visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category. You can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our site. You can also visit their LinkedIn pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you